Knox County is still dealing with the aftermath of heavy storms that damaged roads, trees, and downed power lines. Now there's a threat of more storms. Terry Craig spoke with county leaders about the situation they are facing. Terry. Those who I spoke with say that they're concerned that this next round of storms could cause even more damage. Knox County continues to deal with the damage left behind by storms earlier this week. Commissioner Kelly Streeter says they're continuing to find even more roads washed out and trees down. We found uh, several roads washed out even after this last round of storms. And now with the saturation, we're seeing many trees down across the county. So we've really just asked the public to, to really be aware and, of course, typical turnaround, don't drown. More rain is on the radar for the valley and Knox County. Streeter says they're preparing for the worst. With the ground so saturated, we're concerned of more damage to come. So just keeping an eye on, 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 the, on the weather like you talk about and really, really relying on, hopefully, the public um, steering clear of all those areas. Garrett Pinkston says he's seen what the storms left behind. He does outdoor work and says the storms have prevented him from doing his job. The power line's down, trees everywhere. You got holes in roads, you know, which uh, on top of that is keeping us from work, which is an issue. After preliminary assessments, Streeter says the damage to the roads could be pricey. We're still really in that response phase of trying to assess uh, what damage we, we have and what we see, and it's, it's, it, it could get very costly. To stay up to date with the road conditions, streeters suggest using the Knox County GIS website for updated road conditions.